Ben Yedda, two words that killed the hopes of an entire football club. Welcome back to Africa Football. This will be our Sevilla vs Manchester United Europa semi-final preview video. And if you're new to our page, please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. The teams will line up as follows. This will see Sevilla have Benega marshal the midfield with Suso acting as an expressive outlet. While Manchester United could have Marshall leading the charge with Greenwood on the wing with both teams sticking to the same lineups as they used in their previous matches. Generally, Lupotegi lines up his side in a 4-3-3, which transforms to a 4-5-1 when not in possession. Sevilla play an intense high-pressure game, which is centered around Eva Benega's midfield antics. While Sosha utilizes a 4-2-3-1 as his main, but further, he will rely on the pace of the likes of Marcus Rashford, Mason Greenwood, and Anthony Marshall to whom the responsibility to outmatch Sevilla's defense shall fall. A quick look at the two teams head-to-head -head in this competition shows that these two teams have played a total of three games, with Sevilla winning two and drawing one. Recent Europa form shows that, in reaching the semi-finals, Sevilla have faced some tough opponents such as AS Roma and Wolves. Both of these teams hold a decent standing in their leagues. While for Manchester United, in their journey to the semi-finals, they have faced some lackluster opponents such as Lask, and FC Copenhagen, both teams of which post-corona have not had the best form. In turn, United has not been convinced in their last two performances. One should note that Sevilla has gone unbeaten against all English sides that they have faced. They hold a record of four wins and two draws against English teams. While United generally perform poorly against Spanish teams in European competitions, with a record of one win, two draws and three losses to the same. Sevilla has in its last six games produced under 2.5 goals. But they are unbeaten in 19 games in all competitions, with a record of 10 wins and 9 draws. Also, Sevilla has conceded only one goal in their last 8 games in all competitions, which will make this a tight affair. While on the United front, they have netted an average of 2.18 goals in the Europa League games this season, and hold a 4-game unbeaten run leading up to this game, with 2 wins and 2 draws from the same. United has 11 clean sheets in this competition this season, so we're in for a low-scoring game of football. And on to the players to watch out for in this match. For Sevilla, we'll focus on Lucas Ocampos, who boasts five consecutive goals from his last five matches, and this is because of his open play goal scoring ability. While for United, we'll focus on Bruno Fernandes, who is their man on fire. He is a Europa tournament leading goal scorer with seven goals so far, three of them being penalties. And for our prediction on this game, based on the sheer form and past games played, the statistical data seems to favor Sevilla, and this is because they have played a couple of heavy pressure Europa League games and have not choked under the pressure yet, and they have generally held their own against such worthy opponents. While last Monday night, this United team seemed to suffer from some stress and fatigue, even though they faced off against a team that some would consider an easier opponent. And with the stingy backline of the likes of Sevilla, and with the recent drop in United's goal scoring form, we predict that this game is set up for a draw, with the winner being decided in extra time due to fatigue. We would like to hear from you on what you think the outcome will be. Remember to like and subscribe to this page. This has been Africa Football. See you in the next one.